So you made it back to the show. Ah, I thought I lost you on the last episode. Boy, was that good or what, huh? All right, grilling episode number three. We're doing a three-part series for the summertime. Hope you guys are having fun. Uh, hope you've been enjoying the holidays. We got, uh, what, 4th of July coming up? We just had Father's Day. It's going to be beautiful. So uh, just want to let you know real quick that uh, this episode, even though I've done rib episodes, this one is going to be the best rib episode ever because we are doing, first we're doing a rub onto the ribs and we're going to wrap them, just let them set overnight, and then we're going to make a hot pineapple barbecue sauce to smother these bad boys in. And I don't mean just ribs. I mean six beautiful racks of ribs. That's right. We're going to do it right now. So always remember when you're doing this stuff, prep, prep, prep. And we're going to do that first. You prepare everything. You slice everything. You mix everything. You get your seasonings ready. You set it all ready. So when you wake up in the morning, you uh, just relax and get the barbecue on and just start grilling. That's all you got to do. Now, don't forget the recipes down below. As always, let's uh, put this together. First, we have brown sugar. We have either, either coarse or kosher salt. Black pepper. And this is chili powder. Oh yeah, there you go. Some allspice. Some cinnamon, granulated garlic, Whoop. come on, get out there, and granulated onion. Wow, check that out. That look cool. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to close that bad boy. Now, I made a bigger batch because I've got six racks. You may not have six racks. The recipe down below is about two racks worth. So just kind of follow the recipe. Okay, move all your ribs to one side except for one rack. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the bottom first, then the top, and then do the next one. So here we go. And I rub it all into the meat. It's going to take a few minutes to get this all done, but you're definitely going to want to take your time on this. Now that we've got them all seasoned, you're going to wrap these in cellophane, plastic paper, uh, plastic wrap, and let them just sit overnight. Then we're going to get these boys out. We're going to cook them up first thing in the morning. So get ready. It's going to be delicious. This ought to be the best of the three grilling episodes. All right, it's time to do our pineapple barbecue sauce, or I should say the spicy pineapple barbecue sauce, thanks to our little uh, habanero friends right there. Okay, one of the things I didn't do last week, I got this brand new knife. I took a uh, knife skills video lesson from Chef Elizabeth Witt, and the one, then I come out here and I cut like this, like my old holding. And then I, I remembered she taught me how to hold the knife where you pinch between your thumb and, and your finger like that, and you wrap your other three fingers around the knife like that. So I did that, right? And I gotta tell you, the other day I used it the right way, like this, and it felt way better than ever. I feel like I'm in total control of where the knife goes now. I do, I don't even get, I, I don't even feel nervous anymore, and it's getting easier. So knife skills definitely are something that you have to work on. But I gotta tell you, holding the knife like this, it feels like it ain't going anywhere. We're gonna mince this, so I'm basically going to give it a few slices this way. All right. Then we're gonna do it like this. Whoa, careful, Jack, careful. All right. Then we're gonna do it. And then she said, when you get too close to your fingers, 
drop that right down like that and start cutting again. Okay, so the recipe says to seed these peppers. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. I am going to leave one with the seeds and I'm going to seed the other. Look at all these ingredients. It's crazy. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm totally off my rocker. But these are all the ingredients for the pineapple spicy barbecue sauce. Let me run down them for you. I've got vinegar, brown sugar, salt, pepper, pineapple juice, oil, ginger, garlic, habanero peppers, Worcestershire sauce, diced onions, cilantro, chunks of pineapple, and allspice. I don't even know if this is big enough, but we're going for it. Once again, I do everything first time. I've never made this before in my life, but boy, it sounded great. Okay, we're gonna start with a little, the little bit of oil in here. Now, you don't wanna brown this stuff. You just wanna soften it. That's all we're doing. Okay, here we go. Saute the onions, the garlic, the ginger, and the peppers. As you can see, the onion mixture with the garlic, ginger, and peppers is starting, whoops, starting, starting to get uh, soft. So we're gonna start adding more ingredients now. First, we're gonna add the pineapple juice, the brown sugar, the vinegar, the Worcestershire sauce, and we're gonna increase the heat to a medium high, and we're gonna reduce this by about one third. So we're gonna let this cook down for a little bit. So just take it easy, mix it all in together. It's gonna to come out really good. So take your time, be sure to follow the directions. Okay, so this has been reduced down by about a third. Let's get the rest of the ingredients in. Salt. Pepper. A little bit of allspice. And last but not least, the pineapple chunks. There we go. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this on a low flame. You're gonna cook this for about 20 minutes. Look, you can already see how it's starting to thicken up. It's getting thicker and thicker. Let's put the last ingredient in right now. This last ingredient only uh, simmers for about five, five minutes. So let's get that worked in. Now the recipe says to blend this, uh, to pulse this in a chopper and all that, but I am altering it just a little bit for my pleasure. I like cilantro leaves. I don't want them pulverized. So you can pulse them if you want. I personally want them to be in this condition. Okay, our mixture's done. We're gonna let this just cool. Once this cools down, we're gonna pour it into this container and then we're gonna stick it in the refrigerator. Get it right in there, okay? And then uh, in the morning, I will see you guys with the racks of ribs. We'll unwrap them. They've been rubbed with seasoning. We're gonna glaze them with this hot pineapple barbecue sauce and it ought to be delicious. Oh, hey, how you doing? You guys are up early, huh? Sorry, hope you weren't waiting too long. Um, anyway, uh, I got everything here. Just pulled the ribs out of the uh, refrigerator. Mm-hmm. Just trying to wake up myself. Okay, because it was a late night. We were up late making this barbecue sauce, I'm telling you. So uh, you want to make sure the ribs are at room temperature before you bring them out. It's like opening a present on Christmas. That's exactly what it is. You can smell... Everything on these ribs just explode as soon as I popped it open. You know what's crazy is when you're just warming up the grill, you haven't even cleaned it yet, and yet the food that was left over from the last time you cooked still smells good. That's just crazy. Okay, be sure to give the grill a good cleaning. 
I usually put the meaty side down first because there's more to cook. So I try and get that started. And I'm searing it first and then we're gonna lower the temperature all the way down and we will cook at a low temperature after that. You know, look how amazing those ribs look. Is that amazing? I don't know, I'm just standing over here cooking them. Don't take them off early, but just, just look how beautiful they look. Let's get some sauce on these things. See how the bones are all showing? They're all starting to pull their, uh, the meat's pulling away from the bones, see that? So we're almost there. So they're about a quarter of an inch showing. Start lathering these bad boys. And, do, and we, did it, we did it generously. Uh, we made a double batch so that we can just coat, coat away. Plus we have six racks, so follow the recipe down below. You should be just fine. All right, it's time to flip and resauce. We're gonna do this with all the ribs. We're gonna hit the second side, okay? So why don't you go inside and wait for me in the kitchen? I'm gonna finish just saucing these up. I'll be in there in five minutes. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Six beautiful racks, rubbed with seasoning, smothered with a hot pineapple barbecue sauce. Is this art or what? Oh, hold on a minute. There, let me remove my hands. Now look at it. Try posting that on the web. This looks like the best looking rack of the bunch. And let's see, let's see if the bone's gonna pull away. Oh yeah, beautiful. Perfect, gorgeous. Look at that. I'm just gonna cut this piece off right here with my new knife. Oh, it goes right through the rib. Ha, that's beautiful. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mmm, I knew from when I licked my fingers how awesome this is. Okay, my mouth's on fire. It's a good heat. It's not out of control heat. Mmm. Just to let you know that it really is good, because you never trust me. He was like, oh, you say, oh, it's good and everything's good. This is awesome. Let me get my son in here. Jack! Jack, come here. Careful. Careful, dude. Don't trip over the camera. All right, dude? Yeah. I'm gonna give you a rib, and I want you to try it, and tell me what you think, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. I'm gonna give you this one right here. I want you to do me a favor. If you don't like it, or if it's too hot for you, I want you to tell them how good it is. There you go. Okay? okay. Give it a try, nice one bite. Okay, don't you know how to eat ribs? Don't you know how to eat ribs? Bite! <laughs> bite them, no, you bite the meat on the side, not the back, right there. <laughs> Sorry. Can you tell we're being totally honest here? Pull it out. There you go. Okay. Now tell me, set it down. Set it down. It's just a taste test. You don't get the whole rib. You can have the rib later when we're done. Okay. <laughs> how is it? Um, Watch the knife. Don't touch the knife. It actually has perfect... I'm sorry, what did it say again? It has perfect spice to it. Perfect spice? Mm hmm Okay, so tell them on a scale of 1 to 10 how good are these ribs. Be honest. 59. Oh, come on. Seriously, scale of 1 to 10. 11. 11? You mm -hmm. rock. <laughs> you are daddy's boy. All right, get on out of here. In fact, you know what? Stay here. We'll say goodbye together. Are you ready? Mm hmm Say, I'll see you on the next episode of Cooking with Jack. I'll see you on the next episode of Cooking with Jack. <laughs> Take care.